my friend, Priscilla, the backyard homesteader queen of the five gallon bucket. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Oh, I realized yet again that I have some footage that I never showed you. And this time it's lettuce. Take a look. Okay, hopefully you can see well. I have placed the first tier on my little swivel here, which is so awesome. This is brand new, by the way. The one, the other two green stocks I have, they have wheels and rollers, but they don't have this swivel, which, guys, it's worth the money. You'll see why. <laughs> okay, so now that I have my dirt in here, personally, I like to plant it now by tier. I don't like planting them all out and then placing them on here. You'll come up with your own way, and that's the beauty of gardening, right? Okay, so we're gonna take that. This is my romaine, and I'm gonna take and build a spot. I did water this down a little bit, just a little bit, so that we can fit this in well. Just make a little pocket there. And pop it right down in there. Alright, there's one. One letters. Now once they're in this pot, I'm hoping that they'll just flourish from here on out. So, we shall see. Okay, so here I am, there's my green stock. So let's get an update on how the lettuce is going and the cilantro. So let's um, turn this camera around and check it out. Okay, so here's my green stock and you can see that it's trying some of it. The cilantro actually is doing fine in the green stock. It's under the patio here, so it gets a little bit of morning and a little bit of afternoon, but not much. So you'll see like there's nothing in that one. This one's got some burgundy, le burgundy lettuce still. This one's trying 
This one's trying. That one looks like it's gonna come around. See, they're trying. Now, I knew they wouldn't grow fast because there's not a lot of sun, but they wouldn't be able to tolerate the heat. And we've been through some triple digits and we're about to be through some more. So let's see, <laughs> let's see how we do. So not bad, actually, not bad. Haven't been able to harvest yet, but not bad. Some, in, a lot in the bottom is toast. I think that maybe some pests got to the ones in the bottom, I don't know. I just don't know, hot one's empty. So we'll sew something in these little pockets. Oh, I have a great idea. So Jess Sowers recently had a, um, she bought a bunch of seeds, a botanical, natural botanicals or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, they were having a nice sale and they have these small little round carrots. I think I'm going to try putting those in that green stock in the spot, spots where the lettuce doesn't grow. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to try those suckers out. Actually, I think I could probably do three to one pocket because they're fairly small. They don't go deep. We'll give it a go. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Until next time, peace. Bye now.